was a body to pass away upon you. I never want to try to lose you, try to them upon me. Hi guys, hello my people, hello amazing, fantastic, suitable people in the house. Welcome back again to my channel. If you're new here, please like this video, comment, and share your opinion in the comment section. So this video is voiceover. Hope you understand. In today's video, we're going to talk about three things. Okay, Th three things you're going to talk about. But we're going to start with Sean Awa, which is a friend of the Wango. Now, Sean, if you have been following her, you know Sean was invited by Diwango to come to Jamaica when Diwango was in Jamaica. And her video really grew up. In fact, her video grew up when she went to visit um, Diwango at home. You understand? We saw the video and all that. So after the the whole buhaha of uh, Jamaica, Jamaica videos, she came back. And she coming back, she said, you know, her passport um whatever whatever she had an excuse and she promised that she would come back shortly okay let's say the reason why she didn't go back to jamaica as she said which is a lie was because of the whole passport stuff so when she later got her passport you know she claimed that she's traveling and we thought she's going back to jamaica not knowing that she went to nigeria which is where she's been married to nice one so going to this Nigeria, you know, the content and the views is not like before. In fact, if Sean Awa did not clip it, she's not getting the views like before. You understand? She started losing a lot of Jamaica viewers, um, the Wango fans, you understand? Because all this while the Wango fans has been with her, happy her, and all that. Though she's one person who is very active when it comes to clipating, she just know how to, you know, be creative in her content, put one or two, you understand? If you watch her video, it can be lie, it can be true, but she just know how to do it to get the mind of people and all that. Now, recently, there is something that happened. Sean Awa, okay? Sean Awa was exposed. Few days ago, Sean Awa posted a video where she was in this mansion in Nigeria. And when she posted it, she said Banana Island. I said, eh? <laughs> no, no, Banana Island is not before you. Because when you say Banana Island, as she, you know, she described the whole place, though she didn't mention the main street. It's possible for me here to contact somebody to ask the person. You understand? I would have still, that is if I want to, I would have still, you know, exposed Sean. I would have still catch Sean in this big fat lie. Before then, she made a post and she posted she snapped a picture in the same building. See, guys, be careful how you use your real life to compare to social media lifestyle. Be very careful. And that is why this video is very important for every one of you. Okay. Now, because of the whole she's not getting there, because Sean Awa also likes attention, she's not getting the whole attention and everything. She even turned Riato on Instagram. Do you understand? She even turned Riato on Instagram. Moving further, she posted a video. And even in that video, we can see that the one go congratulated her. Everybody congratulated her. You understand? Some persons even said, Tell me what is better than seeing this woman dream coming to pass. God, you who did it happen, make her safe always. Some people said, The only woman we are taking advice from. Like people really believed her that this post she posted was hers. That she's the owner of this building and funny enough this how she showed us is not the house she have showed us before on youtube that her husband bought so how many times is it that her husband is buying you know house every month you understand is it that should our husband buy house every month because the house she previously said her husband bought is not the one that she is when she went back to nigeria when she went back to Nigeria, you can see where she is, where she was living, doing her vlog, okay? And now, this how she is showing is totally, totally different, okay? So, I'm going to play the video, then before we play the video that exposed her. But mind you, let me say this. When I first saw this post, I never believed. So, those of you who believed, who we are carried, they will say congratulations, including the one go congratulations, I tap from this blessing, oh, her dream is coming true, I pity for you. Then, before I play the video, like I said, be very careful how you use your real lifestyle to compare to social media lifestyle. 
let's watch the video then we'll come back hi guys so you people have always wanted to see my nigerian house and this is finally the day Now, after watching this clip, how can a normal woman be believe that this is real? A clip where you do not see the person baiting, you do not see the person participating in the house or doing anything, then you believe that this is real. Now, let me play the other video where she was exposed. Then, when people started dragging her, I will show you what she posted in her posts. Then, before we go over to Christmas list. People have always asked me, where do you live in Nigeria? I want to show you my luxury apartment, guys. This is only for the 1%. You wake up and there's some music. Look at the living room, guys. Everything is... He's so a man. No, he's a no, man. Uh, it is fake life, my dear. It is fake life, guys, my dear. Guys, don't mind her. I'm doing a collab with, with her. I just invited her here. Anyway, Three million dollars house. Fake life. 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 life doesn't end in Nigeria. Fake life doesn't end in Nigeria. Even Kenyans. Hi. Cut now. Uh, cut, cut. Cut what? Cut, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ask her. Have your house. Tell me your bedroom side. Okay. Where's the bedroom? Where, where's the bedroom now? Uh, Woo! Where's the bedroom? It's upstairs, guys. They, they, <laughs> there's how many, how many rooms? Uh, okay, how many rooms? How one house? Two rooms. Two rooms upstairs, guys. One for me, and I will give you the the the. the, the other room. room. Let's, let's like a bloody liar. A bloody liar. A bloody liar. <laughs> Guys, they're actually both lying. They are both liars, just in case you want to know. <laughs> now, after watching this video, what comes to your mind? I guess you don't know the other girl. She's a she's a Nigerian and she's also she's also a social media influencer as well. And the other guy, we know him is a travel vlogger, Steven Dukwe. You understand? You can go check out his channel. Now, even as this lady, Sean, have posted the first one and everybody congratulated her. She would have just let it be so that everybody would still believe that this is her house. <laughs> like I said, this lady, if she have not posted her house, she have posted like, let me say like five different buildings. So we are still thinking which one is her own fake life. So she wouldn't have even posted this one because she posted this one. It just rubbish your personality. You understand? It just rubbish your personality. It just, it doesn't make sense. In fact, <laughs> this thing that this one, if, if that video you just posted last would do more harm than good, you would have just let it be. You would have even posted it at all. So you post it now, you don't know what you did to yourself. You understand? So it means that all this why most of the things, of course, Sean will make a video. That video just know that it's 70%, 70 percent. It can be seventy percent true. It can be seventy percent lies. It can be fifty percent lies. Sean is like that. So let me read this she posted on her status. So this is what she wrote. They said a crazy amount of Kenya are visiting the page. And I responded, told you the strategy will work. Anyways, I beg, let me influence your brand for you. DM me, let's work together. So she is saying that this she did is a strategy. So should we say that all that she has been showing, all this, why my husband bought me this, my husband did this, but... Could all this be strategy? Then if it's strategy for you to lie about a property or whatever, cars or whatever, then what about people you have misled by this strategy? So if it's strategy, what about people who saw this post and immediately they started comparing their life with you? They start seeing themselves as failure. They start seeing themselves that they have not achieved much or they are not doing much for themselves. They're looking at themselves, they are losers. And maybe all these people, they are, you know, they're really working hard. You understand? They are really doing well for themselves. So now, looking at how hard working they are, and they are up to now, they haven't bought any house or have anything for themselves. What will you now do? You understand? Because you cannot mislead people at the end. You now come at, oh, it's a strategy from anyway. I pity those who compare their life with what they see on social media. That's all. You understand? Be you. So, Sean, this does not um this video did not surprise me because Sean, Sean and Fake Life is five and six. I don't even know how those who congratulate her in the first, uh, you know, post will be feeling now. I don't even know how the one go. 
another people will be feeling. Next time when you post something that is real, nobody will be there to congratulate you. You say, oh, people don't, people don't celebrate others. Meanwhile, your fake life will not allow people to congratulate you. Let's go back to the next one, guys. <laughs> I don't want to even waste much of your time. Let's talk about Chris. So, guys, today is um a day for Chris to come back to court. Like, the court case is still ongoing. Remember, he was given his passport. And even they also told him or ordered him not to travel to Tobago. And that's why he's still around in Trinidad. Even if they have given his passport, but he's not still a free man. And Chris chose not to travel anywhere to remain in Trinidad all this while. So earlier today, Chris posted, Today is the big day, my time in court. I would be lying if I said I was not nervous. I just need to get home to my family. Send me some good luck, please. I will need it. Thank you, Trinidad. So Chris posted this today. Meaning today is another day for uh, for courts. And of course, he said he's nervous. But since they gave Chris freedom, or since they gave him bail, or since they bail him, you know, after he was arrested, Chris is living his life as if he, you know, there's no court, there's no court case. He's living his life. He's a celebrity. Different artists are using him, different television stations, you know, they are calling for interview. We see him all in his enjoyment and everything, Bobby and all that. So, like, the way Chris was living his life after his bay, it was as if he never did anything wrong. And he said it, that he's not feeling guilty, he's going to public all the videos, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm surprised that the same Chris is saying that he's feeling nervous because, he, you know, <laughs> So after this, like few minutes now, okay, that screenshot was about 12 hours ago. Now, few minutes now, Chris posted this and said, not looking good. Not looking good. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what he mean by this. Not looking good. And he was waving his head in this video. I only screenshot it, but he was waving his head like, no, no, no. You understand? So does it mean that the court today maybe did it end to his favor does it mean that the whole thing did go well anyway we'll hear from chris very soon maybe on interview or whatever maybe he will do a video about it but let's say for example my advice that kind of a thing somebody they were arrested and they gave you bail but the case is still in court you will still you not show yourself that much you understand you just to be living your normal humble life just be doing your thing don't even grant much interview and all that because you don't know when you will talk you over talk that is one thing you don't know when you will talk you over talk so it's not even something you should start rejoicing about start saying things like i'll publish the video i didn't do any wrong I am free, this and that. I will sue the paper. I will sue the government, blah, blah, blah. So, that's my opinion. I just, I, you know, I pray everything goes well. But for him to write this, that it's not looking good. It didn't go well. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. May God help him. So, guys, drop your opinion in the comment section. Drop your opinion, what you think about the video. Meanwhile, we'll be waiting for Chris to give, like, a public announcement or whatever. You understand? Thank you guys for watching this video. Drop your opinion about everything said on this video. See you in my next video, guys. Ciao.